Welcome to the Bacteria Simulation. In this simulation, you will investigate the shapes and locations of 10 common household bacteria. The simulation starts with the kitchen and lab table scene. To begin, sample a location in the kitchen. You can do this by placing the pipette icon over a location in the kitchen and clicking your left mouse button. If you selected a location containing bacteria, the pipette icon will fill up and the word sample collected will appear on the lab table. Note that if you would like to clear the pipette, you can click on the clear button. This will empty the pipette and allow you to sample another location. Next, click on the microscope. There are four buttons on the right side of the screen indicating the different microscope views you can choose. In this case, I will be viewing the bacteria found in ground beef. When I click on the single button, I see the shape of a single bacterium. When I click on multiple, the view is of several bacteria. The flagellated button shows a bacterium with flagella, and the with gram stain button shows the bacterium with a gram stain. Note that you can switch between single and multiple bacteria views once the with gram stain button has been clicked. You may also turn the gram stain on and off. If you are unsure of what bacteria you have sampled, you can always refer back to the bacteria database. Once you feel you know the type of bacteria you have viewed, click the word back at the bottom right of your screen. You will be returned to the kitchen and lab table scene. The lab table has petri dishes labeled with 10 different types of bacteria. Click on the petri dish labeled with the bacteria you have viewed. If you have chosen correctly, the petri dish will glow green and the pipette will empty. The bacteria's location will also be removed from your possible sampling areas. In this case, I have correctly identified the bacteria in ground beef, so I can no longer sample the ground beef. Please note that if you choose the wrong petri dish, the dish will glow red for a moment and the pipette will empty. The sampling location will remain active and you will have to sample that bacteria location again. After you have correctly identified your first type of bacteria, sample a different location, look at the bacteria through the microscope, and select the appropriate petri dish. Follow these steps until you have identified all 10 bacteria.